Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about food temperatures. First up, the safest way to thaw your frozen meat. Now, the three safest ways to thaw your frozen meat is one, in the fridge, overnight usually. Two, in the sink. You run cold water over your frozen meat and it thaws pretty quickly. I actually don't recommend this method because it wastes a lot of water. And then, number three, your microwave. Out of the three, the best option is in your fridge overnight. That's the safest, most effective way. Next, I would recommend the microwave because it thaws fairly quickly. Just make sure you do it on like 20 or 10% power. Now that you've thawed your meat, you need to cook it. And you need to do it within the next two hours because your food has just entered the temperature danger zone. Now, there are a few ways to determine the doneness of your meat. First way is with a meat thermometer, like this one. Now, if you're going to cook chicken, duck, or any other kind of poultry, you need to cook it to 165 degrees. 160 degrees is good for ground meats, pork, or any egg dishes. Steaks, roasts, chops, and seafood should all be cooked to 145 degrees. And 140 degrees is great for pre-cooked pork. Now, if you don't want to be bothered with any of those temperatures, I have a couple really easy ways to, for you to test the doneness of your meat. First one, all you need is your hand. So here we go, let me show you. So all you're gonna do is take your thumb and your pinky and put them together. And then you're going to press right here on the inside of your thumb. That is well done. And well done is pretty much for all your meats except for some burgers and some steaks. Next, do the same thing but with your ring finger on your thumb. And then again, press in the same spot. That is medium. Okay? Again, with your ring, with your middle finger and your thumb, that is medium rare. And then with your forefinger and your thumb, that's rare. That's all you need to know for your hand. Here's the last option, and all you need is your face. So, to determine medium rare to rare doneness, you want to press right here on your cheeks. Okay? For medium doneness, touch the tip of your chin. For medium well, it's going to be the tip of your nose. And well done is your forehead. So, Medium to medium rare is your cheeks. Medium is the tip of your chin. Medium well, tip of your nose. And well done is your forehead. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.